Hi, growing crystals can be really rewarding. It does not take a lot of effort, but persistency and patience is key. I made this huge citric acid cluster in around two months. I made it with the cooling method, a simple but successful technique. Most substances are more soluble at higher temperatures than lower temperatures. The technique involves cooling a saturated solution. As the temperature drops, the solvent's ability to dissolve the solute decreases and the excess solute precipitates out. If the rate of cooling is slow enough, crystals should form. Citric acid is ideal for this technique because this compound displays high solubility at high temperatures and low solubility at low temperatures. Here is how I made it. I made a starter by saturating the solution and putting it in the fridge for the night. Absolutely overloaded the solution. Remember, a lot of citric acid can dissolve in water. At room temperature, it can be almost 60%. So just 100 milliliters of water can hold up to 60 grams. The next morning, on the bottom, some crystals have already formed. Took out the one I liked and redissolved the rest over the day. In the night, I would filter the solution, put my crystal in, and again goes in the fridge overnight. I filter the solution in the night with the coffee filter to get out dust or cat hairs that might fall in the solution during the day. This became the part of my morning routine. Next to my coffee, I would boil water to heat the solution a bit so that the bigger crystals that remain on the bottom can dissolve over the day. And by night, the solution would stabilize and got back to room temperature. I don't put a solution warmer than room temperature in the fridge because then it precipitates out too fast and a lot of small crystals would make the solution totally filled with small crystals which I don't want. I repeated this every day. In the morning I take out my main crystal, saturate the solution, in the night I filter and fridge. Every day for about two months. Crystal on the first days. And after a few days it might look like this. The more surface area you have, the more weight your crystal will put on. After a week or so, it might look like this. On the last week of growing, I added this vegetable carbon based food coloring to the solution. Here, that's why the solution is black and the crystal with that got a nice black coating. The final crystal measures around 25 cm long, 25 wide and 15 cm tall. Weighs now 3.7 kilograms. Luckily I had another fridge in the basement which could fit the bucket of solution with the crystal in it. For this project I bought 10 kilograms of citric acid monohydrate. Most of it is still in solution. What will not go to waste. I already started another project with that. But for now this crystal I consider finished. I hope you try it at home.